And then we have some other probabilistic models that the book covers in chapter 12. It's basically when demand uh, or data on demand during lead time is not available. Then we might want to use one of these. Um, if we have demand is variable and lead time is constant is one case. Uh, basically, you have a really good supplier. When demand is constant and lead time is variable, you might have some kind of contract where someone is buying something at a, a so much every month. Lead time is variable means your suppliers may not be 100% reliable. And then more than likely the real case is going to be when both demand and lead time are variable. So those are three different things. Uh, so the book gives several different formulas for these probabilistic models. I suggest instead of trying to work through those formulas to just use the Excel template that I provide on Blackboard for all three models. If something is constant like lead time then it means the standard deviation is zero. So if you look at the um, Excel template that I have out there, the very last tab, prob ROP, it, it asks for the average demand, standard deviation of demand, average lead time, standard deviation lead time, service level you can change to 95%, for example, to get the Z. And then the reorder point is going to be calculated. So this formula that is up here that I have um, in cell uh, B6 isn't in the book, but it does everything that you need to do. So if a, so this was a zero, right, meaning that lead time was constant, it calculates that. So I would just say use that instead of um, anything else. And so that brings us to the end of chapter 12. And so good luck with all that.